friends and family i hope you all are doing very very well and enjoying the winter season along with winter special food do i take you on the ride with your childhood memories childhood is the age like that when in winters we used to enjoy so many traditional winter snacks along with so many outdoor activities like picnic excursions hiking and the usual sports but nowadays the kids are mostly eating refined processed junk food which is high in bad quality of fat and sugar along with that there is lot of highly processed refined wheat flour as well so what happened because the metabolic rate is very high the growth of the child is also very high they tend to feel hungry more and more and due to the stock of all these junk food they tend to eat this junk food more thereby compromising their immunity and hence seasonal flus and all the infectious agents present all around the environment affect them making them sick frequently affecting not only their academic performance but also their growth and development hence it is of paramount importance that they should eat traditional healthy snack and today i am going to tell you about one traditional healthy snack which was very very popular when we were kids i don't know how much kids are loving it right now but their nutritional importance and benefit is really far reaching not only these snacks help in the great growth and development of the kids but also help in keeping off all the cold cough and flu boost their immunity as well as okay i would keep that as a secret just watch the whole video and you would come to know about one very 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 important nutritional benefit of the snack which is really required for the kids during this period so stay tuned and meet me in the next section back and let's talk about this highly nutritious snack which has thermogenic effect or the heat producing effect it gives much needed warmth and vigor to the bodies of the young children also it is high in calcium magnesium phosphorus which is really required for the proper bone growth and development of the kids along with that it is high in iron protein and healthy kinds of fats like pure fat and new fat ensuring that your child reaches all the developmental milestones at the proper time friends this snack is none other none other than til and gud combination yes the sesame seeds and jaggery til gud ka laddu aur til gud ki roti aur til gud ki tikki are you really surprised yes the til according to ayurveda balances your vata dosha that is the air element in your body and destroys excess of cough that is water and earth element of your body thereby preventing the congestion in the chest boosting immunity and protecting children from all the seasonal flus from all infectious agents apart from that the gud or the jaggery being high in iron vitamin b complex especially niacin and zinc and selenium not only boost the energy levels of kids but also promote strength and stamina along with activating digestive enzymes that means the digestive system of kids would be very very good if they are having this combination during the winter season now comes that show stopper trivia or the secret which i had been mentioning in the first part so this show stopper trivia is that that all in the sesame seeds well what do they do actually nowadays like i have said that kids really tend to eat a lot of junk food high in all kinds of sugars especially cakes muffin cracker biscuit chocolates and so many other things and this sugar really damages their dental health so the all in sesame seeds basically prevent the formation of dental plaque and promotes the oral health now that's really really required during this age is what i feel apart from that if your child is not a big fan of sweets or till or good combination what you can do you can really use 
sesame seeds in baking if you are doing home baking like in making even crackers granolas energy bars if you are making them at home you can also make something like a khajur ki barfi roll in sesame seeds or til seeds so that one on other way the child really tends to eat these seeds you can use til seeds in making masalas or making the gravies of the sabji or you can make the til seed ka batter for your fish and chicken and thus ensuring that your child really eats til seeds so i just hope that you would be very happy to keep raising the collective food consciousness by liking sharing this video if you know some recipe with the similar ingredients don't forget to comment on it thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get similar kind of notifications as i always say keep doing keep a very very good care of yourself along with your kids bye bye see you in the next video